Go to lunch in the Jewish community. I won't tell on the bros for the immunity. Pay and feed them that shit ain't gonna ruin me. I'm the only one now that I do me. I got hoes by the group trying to do me. My life like a movie, get hit in the water. Home got put in no work, I in order. This shit ain't got serious, no millions come plural. I'm living by more, we swiping and keeping no door. This floor, I'm young and I'm turning, I got bitches galore. My baby mom will cost 250, I'm splurging. Got five million cash just in case if you merging. My young niggas kill, get away, they be purging. It happen like this, I ain't do it on purpose. I'm working, my mood nigga, which one you working? I turned on my coupe, all the coupe off of verses. I'm tired of these scribbles, I'm going at nurses and doctors and dentists. You started out. <laughs> Okay, welcome back everyone to the Athletes Mind podcast. Today, we are joined by Sam Van Ruin in the studio, um, Waffle Colts player for Claremont. Um, this is our first draft prospect we've gotten on this year. Um, so yeah, um, welcome to the Athletes Mind. Um, Sam, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, we're good, mate. Um, you know, it's been good to have you on here. So um, yeah, we'll get right into it. So how's the training been going? Um, you know, the season's just started with Claremont, obviously, and um, you're still like settling into things. Um, how have you found it so far? Uh, yeah, training's been good. We've yeah. been training pretty hard this year. Like last year, we were like, pretty disappointing season. So yeah, we've been really working on trying to like impact and prove improve from what we were doing last year. Is is this your second year in Colts? Ah, uh, it's my third. But third, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, nice. So nice. Um, well, yeah. A question we always ask our athletes when they come on is how they actually got into their sport. Um, so, how did you like get into footy? Was it sort of a thing in your family, or you just yeah. took uh, it up? Nah. So when I was oh, when, whenever the first year it was kickies, I started playing then. Yeah. Down at Wimby Downs and just loved it since and yeah kept going through playing up until now. Did your dad or like um any family members play or? Ah uh, nah, dad grew up in England, so oh, right, yeah. grew up playing rugby. So yeah, my my older brother, yeah. who you probably know, yeah, yeah, he, he tried playing rugby. I think oh, right. one year and just didn't like it, so yeah, stuck to footy. Yeah, yeah rugby. Uh, have there been any other sports you've played? Well, you've mentioned rugby. Like, have that you've played, or has footy just been really the main focus? Uh, no, nah, I've never played rugby, but I played basketball as yeah. well from about Pretty year high. three to year ten. Yeah. yeah. With, with the height, have you like always had this height, or did you just go through like a massive growth? Nah, sport? I only really started growing when I was about I'd probably say. 14, 15. Yeah. But, yeah, so... And is that probably why you got into um, basketball, I'm guessing, because of the height? Someone probably yeah. approached you about that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and talking about junior footy, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you played for Scarborough? Uh, right? Yeah, I played for the Scarborough year 10 to 12, but before that I played for Wimby Down. Yeah. Um, how was, like, the... Did you win any flags? How was that sort of experience playing down there? Uh, we never won a flag. We the, the year that COVID mainly hit, we came third, but... Like it wasn't like a proper yeah grand final like yeah games or anything yeah and, and going on to um you know your current career obviously playing for Claremont um like you said it's your third year how's the experience been playing down there like with the whole coaching staff like I know you mentioned that you guys are trying to improve from last year like how's that the environment like at the club Uh yeah the environment's really good we a lot, our team's a lot closer this year like last year we had a couple of issues like with having like separate groups mm. but this year we've all sort of like merged into one and we always like go out for dinner after training just yeah. try build yep. our cultural some good to team bonding stuff yeah. yeah that's good so would you say the Colts are looking promising this year yeah you say? definitely yeah that's good I mean you guys um, you know beat Subiaco yeah, um, last year so yeah and Subiaco they're, they're, pretty, they're usually pretty good so, so yeah it's looking good um, and you are 18 and you're out of school that correct, yeah. Um, you mentioned that, like, you know, you're working full time and playing Colts. Like, have you found it hard to sort of leaving school, managing your time with footy and working as well? Uh, yeah, it's definitely been hard to adjust, like, working full time and then trying to fit in going to the gym mm. and all, all the extras. So, normally I'd just go to the gym after training on Tuesday and Thursday when, because we've got a gym at the club. So, yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's been like trying to find time mm. to do and get in the extras and stuff. What what does the gym program actually entail, like for the footy, like because in the off season it's quite focused on obviously, but what does it change throughout, like during the season? Uh yeah, it's probably a bit lighter. Yeah, it would normally be, but yeah, it's still pretty.
pretty pretty similar to preseason. Yeah, and with your position being a key forward for Claremont, um, you know, you kicked five goals last week, which is you know that's really good against Subiaco. Um, have you always played forward, like from your junior days? Uh, nah. So I started playing forward with me in year ten. Yeah. Before that, I was on the wing because I was a oh, bit yeah. smaller. But year yeah. ten was when I started to properly grow, and my brother was playing as a key forward, and I thought, yeah, yeah I'll give it a crack, and yeah. Ended up loving it, and that's where I'm now. Perfect. All right, so you kicked five your last game. What Got any, like, set shot routine, or is it just whatever? Uh, yeah, I've got, yes. a, got, got a routine, so seven, 17 steps back. Yeah. And <laughs> I'll take four walking steps, and then the rest is a run. And then nice. just making sure I'm low over the ball and not, like, swinging my arms when I'm Yeah, yeah. I guess it's like basketball, like when you're shooting a free throw, you got to have like that set routine, um, just get you in the rhythm. Um, and I, I, we want we want to talk a bit about your brother, um, obviously playing in the AFL, um, and you know he just came off a three goal game, um, which is, that must be exciting to see. Like, how is it seeing your brother in the AFL, like watching him on TV at the ground, that sort of stuff? Oh uh, yeah, it's really exciting to obviously see him in that position and like see his dream come true. And yeah, he's. He's doing really well, and like the whole family's proud of him. Yeah. How did the the Rue chant sort of come about? Like, is that a nickname <laughs> that they give you as well? Uh, you... I get I get Rue or Rui, yeah. but it started when he played like in league for Claremont. Yeah. Like the the Rezies and the Colts were yeah. doing it while he was playing, and then I think it just caught on in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool to see. Like, I can't lie. When I was watching it on TV the other night, I, I thought it was booing. Like yeah. initially, and I was like. Why are they booing him? And then I read through the Instagram comments, saw that it was very nice. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. When when he made his this round, but when he made his uh, debut, did you go over to Melbourne and, or? Uh, yeah, we flew, flew over. over. Yeah, we were how how was that experience like? Yeah, it was good. We got to go down to the change rooms before yeah. and after the game. I like, met all the players, met some of the recruiters and the coaches. Oh yeah, nice. And all that. But, yeah. So you get you get to meet like Petrarca, any of those guys? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> We, we were at uh, Amy Park, which is one of their training facilities, and Petrarca was there coming from the races, so I had a little chat to him. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, but how's your brother's like, influence been on you? Like, uh, with, with the level you're playing at now, you know, your brother's had the same like, journey as you. Like, do you maybe like, call him up every now and again, ask for advice, that uh, sort of stuff? Yeah, so he, he always watches the games live through a streamer so okay. he always he always watches it and then either that night or the next day he'll either text me or call mm. me about it awesome just yeah tell me what i could have done better like mm. what i did well and all that sort of stuff and and obviously like you would be supporting him like massively because he plays for melbourne but what um this is a little random but what um afl team do you actually support uh, yeah. i used to go for hawks but yes yeah. s- sort of switched over to melbourne, melbourne. yeah that, that's fair enough like that happens you know family members play there you kind of have to yeah, yeah. Uh, are there any players, AFL, non-AFL, that you just look up to, model yourself, model your game after? I uh, try play a lot like Aaron Norton or yeah, yeah. Jamal Ash- Uberhagen. Yeah. Oh, okay, the way, they, the doggies. Yeah. way they fly for the ball, like crash packs, and if they don't mark it, they bring the ball to the ground for the small, for the small ones, yeah. clean up. Um, and you know this is the athlete's mind like we like to talk a lot about the mentality um, and with like mentally with all the training you do and I know you touched on this before like with working and stuff like that but do you ever feel like burnt out mentally and like how do you sort of manage that do you have a way to sort of uh, I don't really feel burnt out that much but like sometimes just after training I just want to get home and yeah. just go to bed but I just know that I have to keep like going to the gym and Cons- stay reaction. consistent yeah yeah and what, what about like before games like do, is there is there like a routine you have from when you wake up like have breakfast because i know some people are very like superstitious about it so uh, i don't really have a morning routine but i definitely got like superstitions that i'll yeah. stick to every yeah. yeah like can you give us any examples uh i've got a pair of nike socks that i always yeah. wear underneath <laughs> my claremont socks They're lo- lucky socks yeah so they're, they're always been yeah, there for me since last year since I was playing. So. Do, do you like listen to like um like music before? Because I know I see a lot of players headphones in, locked in. Some people like to have a chat. What do you sort of like to do? Uh, I don't listen to music at the game like yep. myself. We've got like a big speaker there, yep. but at home when I'm like getting ready, making breakfast and stuff, I'll yep. chuck the headphones in. Yeah, nice. And when when you lose a game, like how do you sort of deal with a loss? Do you sort of just be like, okay, this is what I did wrong. Get back to training. What can we do better? 
or sort of do you like think about it like what's the mental there uh we sort of at claremont we we like to like watch over the footage and like have a big talks about what we could have done to potentially win the game and like say like personally i just watch over, like watch over the footage and see what i could have done better to impact the game yeah nice what what's like one of your key motivations like what gets you like going what will like during your performance like what motivates you really anything uh just see my brother like at the high level it is he is at so yeah. like just seeing him there makes me just want to be there with you him and yeah. like achieve what he has achieved yeah um, did, this is like a bit like about your brother like do people like sort of or, like whether that's fans or teammates that like sort of compare you to him and be like oh you're gonna sort of go and do what he's doing yeah, I've definitely gotten a lot mm. of it since, like, he started playing Colts because, yeah. like, yeah. pretty much since then, he everyone knew he was going to get drafted. Mm. So, pretty much since then, I've been compared to him, and yeah. like, it's definitely affected how I've played and like my confidence levels. Yeah. But, like, last year, I just, oh, whenever I think about it, I just wouldn't like perform and play up to my standards. But oh, this okay. year, I've kind of just embraced it. Mm-hmm. Like I always cop it out on the field, but like yeah, you know, not yeah. as good as your brother or that. But yeah, I've kind of just embrace it and mm. don't let it get to me. Yeah, you need to block it out. That's good because yeah, def- definitely having a brother in the AFL could definitely um, have a big impact. So yeah, um, and talking about your future, um, what sort of goals do you have for footy, like in specific in the future? Uh, well, for this year, I still need to make the state team, which yep. is one thing. That would definitely help and just yeah. if I do end up making a state team having a good carnival playing yeah. well getting like seen by clubs and also just having good season at Claremont hopefully mm. winning the flag and then if I get lucky enough to get drafted just mm. like put in my best work and nice. hopefully have a long career that'd be awesome this would be random but are there are you in chats with any clubs or is it too early to say uh, I've had a chat with a couple of clubs which was oh. on Wednesday oh, nice. like some speed dating but yeah. well, not not proper, proper yeah. interviews and stuff that's cool um, what about like outside of footy like do you have any like I don't know side hustles or anything like that like interests that you sort of want to pursue uh, not really like I like surfing but it's oh, yeah. not really like a yeah, yeah. money off or anything but yeah kind of just going to the beach or yeah. Yeah, mainly working. Yeah, if you don't mind me asking, like, what, what do you, you, you? Obviously, you're working full time. Like, what are you working at the moment? Uh, I'm doing my electrical apprenticeship. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. nice. Yeah, yeah. We got heaps of mates doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, that about wraps it up, mate. Um, you know, best of luck for you, and you know, it'd be awesome to see like where you go with your career. Um, for Claremont, and you know, maybe AFL would be awesome to see. So, thanks for coming on podcast. Um, we really do appreciate it. Um, everyone listening and watching this will be on YouTube, Spotify and podcast platforms. Go and follow the Instagram and the TikTok and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.